Oh my Hello, god. Hello everybody and welcome to an episode of the Phase Cast at night. Am I drinking a tiny coke or are my hands just huge? No, your head's huge. That too. Am I drinking a nondescript drink because we're we're not sponsored yet? But we could be sponsored. By Coca-Cola. Mm. Thanks, Coke. I'm ready to become a corporate sellout. <laughs> Aren't you? For Coke, I don't know, man. Coke's not um, that great. Get the fuck out of here. Why do you suck dick? I like Pepsi. You like a Bepis? You like a Bepis? I like me you a say Bepis. That as you drink a tiny Coke in your hand. Yeah, I, I didn't buy this. Pepsi um, sucks. Pepsi doesn't suck, but Wait, Pepsi, not... Pepsi is not my favorite at all. That's fine. We'll have to do a tier ranking of every soda sometime. Let's not. People but don't today... care. <laughs> <laughs> but, but today, today... we're talking about the premiere of The Last Ellie. of Us. Ellie. Not, not the game. God damn it. The, the movie show for, for TV. The TV show? The HBO show? The HBO we, Max show? We have watched the first episode of... Yes. Of this show. Yes. What were, what were your first impressions, Joe? I, I, okay, so, so, The Last of Us is probably one of my favorite stories of all time. I know, I know, that's, that's a fucking big thing to say, but the way they really focus on the human element during the, this fucking thing, so good. It's really fucking good. And uh, I was super hesitant. I don't care about Pedro Pascal being a great cast for it. I don't care about, like, all the things it had going for it. Even, like, the fucking, what, the writer of, well, the writers of the game or, like, the yeah. one of the owners of Naughty Dog was fucking involved with it, right? Yeah. And definitely. I was like, man, I still don't trust it because yeah. video oh, game no. adaptations fucking fail. Like, all the goddamn time. But this one did a really good fucking job. There were some minor changes, but not enough to matter or care. It was it was really fucking good. If you're a fan of The Last of Us, watch this show. It's the casting is on point. The girl they have who plays Ellie. Holy shit. It's I thought it was Ashley Johnson and they just took her and they like made her a little girl again. And they're like, this is what you are now. Be Ellie. <laughs> and, I did with Sigourney Weaver in the new Avatar. Yeah, but better. And not <laughs> shitty. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and, um, uh, yeah, it was really good. Um, I am so excited for future episodes. I know where this is going to go. I hope they don't change the story. I hope they don't change it at they all. They haven't much so far. They haven't I was really. surprised by that. Well, and see, here's the thing. I don't recall every single plot point, so it was kind of refreshing anyway to see again. It's been a little while for me. Um, you mentioned games. that it's one of your favorite like narrative stories in general, in general, or ga video game wise. In general, um, the because it's spoiler alert for last of us yeah okay by the way but, before we get too into this okay, okay, this like, will involve heavy spoilers for both the stuff. games yeah the show mm -hmm. everything yeah. yeah joel is such an interesting character and ellie being his foil and then later on when we start focusing more on ellie's perspective is so goddamn good and I, I enjoyed this story because the obvious correct, like being the good and heroic character answer to the ending of this first part of the story of part one isn't taken and is chosen in spite of it. And you can understand why. And I want that moment so bad. And Pedro Pascal is doing a really good fucking you're talking job. About, you're talking about at the end of the game. I'm talking about the end of the game. Yeah, I'm trying to yeah. too specific here. Um, 
But I mean, I mean we said it, but like, at the, if for those, okay, fuck it, whatever. I'll pretend to say Ellie, you know, she's immune to uh, mushrooms. They don't do anything for her. She takes one, she doesn't trip. It's crazy. And it's a little sad <laughs> for her. Yeah, especially because that world sucks dick. You think drugs would be good? <laughs> I don't know. Part two, she likes the drugs. We learned that. Anyway. Oh, um no. Just a little bit of the green lettuce while she fucks her friend. That, it's fine. That's fine. And um, that's part two. That won't happen in part one. Uh, but with this, like, she is being transported to a place so where they can operate on her to figure out a way to make everybody immune so they can all go back to normal and beat the mushrooms, the, beat the, uh, the whole fucking pandemic that they're dealing with. What is the... I think I forget what it's called. I think they said uh, it in the third. Third. I don't they know. Said, but but way. they but they have to kill her to get the cure. Yes, there's no there's no then, like they'll have to kill her to get into her brain. And, and then Joel is like, I'm not letting that happen because she reminds me a little bit of my daughter. Yep, and Joel he, grows attached to this uh, person, treats him as her daughter, and fucking murders which is why you know a lot of people were very upset that joel gets killed so early on in part two that's such a good that's such a is so fitting for that character because of the choices that he makes now it's like dude you can't just fucking do that Mm -hmm. and then expect that like no consequences are going to come of that part two being a story about breaking the cycle of hatred sorry i know i just but uh, but so let me get let me circle back to my yeah First question of the night. Yeah, sorry. What was it? What's going on? What are we talking favorite, about? Favorite narrative story of any kind? Potentially yeah. one of? Yeah. Because 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 here's the thing. Joel is inherently a protector. He's inherently yeah. a like he's after after the shit happens in the beginning of like the, the outbreak and his daughter dies in his arms. He's a broken kind of a monster. Like they make it, they, they frame him as a dangerous yeah. man. Yeah. And is. like seeing people struggle, overcome, but stick to like, he saw an opportunity to like save his daughter again. And even though Ellie's not his real and you daughter. You see that at the end of this first episode, he beats the shit out of a soldier. Yeah. When, when he has a flashback about the way this daughter dies. Let me tell you, I've got something loaded up that you're gonna you're gonna hate. That's he, that's scene for scene, gonna, by the way. I was so happy. It is. Sorry, it is. No, it I I just I'm, I'm excited because I know you're gonna hate when I say this. You're, I hate when you say a lot of things. You're putting you're putting the Last of Us up against fucking Moby Dick, Joe. Up against Frankenstein. Yeah. Up against yeah. Up against okay, Star Wars. Okay, okay, here we go with this. Here we go with this. <laughs> so let's let's do it. I'm ready. I'm ready. Go ahead, Eric. What's the lesson you learned from Moby Dick? Moby Dick is a tale of 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 of. You failed, can't even get of, past of. Of, a, of a life of a life lived and failed of a goal unobtainable of finding God of searching for God and killing him. No, they didn't do it. Right, and that was a metaphor. You know, you can't kill God. God is all is this is this thing beneath the sea that you kind of have to have faith in that he'll show up. And then even then, do you want his help or do you just want to prove that he exists and strike him down? Fucking, you think I don't understand literary, liter fuck like books and stories? <laughs> I and knew shit? you would get so mad. I'm so <laughs> happy about this. <laughs> I want, I want shit about the human experience. Right. And there is something very satisfying in like, some some they didn't mean to do this when they made the game but some shit happened and guess what it kind of takes you know president of the life but when there should be an obvious thing that we need to band together and deal with as a society what do we do instead break down and point fingers and fuck each other over yeah but there's still a small group of people who just want to take care of each other and yeah Sometimes you don't want to sacrifice what you care about for the greater good, right? Yeah. But no. do they deserve it anyway? It's it's such a – I'm not saying they're right. I'm not saying anything that any of these characters do in this show is right. Except for like the, the creepy fucker who 
when he shows up later, Ellie's boss fight. Fuck that guy. That guy deserves to die. Anyway, um, so so in reality, I I would I would there's agree a lot with of you. vague statements I've made that if it's nobody fun. has watched Last of Us or played the game, everybody's it's like, gonna be like, what's is happening? What is this? What this dude's it, talking about Nazis think, that we're I supposed to have a background for? I think we just, that most of the people who are going to find this have have seen or played The Last of Us, mm, it, or they just want to hear well, about the first episode. <laughs> Maybe, but The Last of Us is a game that you lent to me. I wouldn't have played it had it not been for you, See. because you got it when it came out, and you were like, "This shit is really fucking good." At that yep. time in my life, yep. I had not finished a video game for a number of years. Mm-hmm. Like I just was not doing games as much, and I borrowed that and I beat it in like two days, and it was largely because of the story, because. I was like, I need to find out what the fuck happens next. And that like never happens to me mm-hmm. in video games. I'm playing, my only frame of reference right now is I'm playing Horizon Forbidden West and I skip through every fucking cutscene because I don't give a shit what those people <laughs> say about anything. I just want to kill robot dinosaurs. And 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 it, it doesn't matter. Last of Us, I was like hooked. And so when you're adapting that to a show, I mean, I was scared too because I really mm-hmm. like I really like the narrative of The Last of Us. Um, and they did a good job. You know what was one of my favorite things about it? Mm. Was was the way that the clickers moved. I thought they did such a good job they translating that. Ugh, because, zombies. Because they well, we moved. didn't see a clicker. We saw one clicker well, like on a rooftop. But, well, you know, right, infected. sorry. Yeah. yeah. The infected, the, they just, they move so unnaturally in the game. Like they're twitching and they're fucking mm-hmm. flipping their hands and shit. Because they're mushrooms controlling people's bodies. Which is which is great. Also, the hive mind aspect of the way that that infection potentially works is pretty neat too. Mm-hmm. But yeah, the the, the translation of the of the um, infected to live action was really good. I don't know who's choreographing those extras, but they're doing a good fucking job. Dude, zo- zombie courses are a thing. Let's just be real, people. Yeah, but people... it's a very it's a very specific, unique sort of movement for the zombies in in, in those games. Yeah, you know the, the and cracking it, and the moving. Of yeah, the and a lot of it is achieved in a video game in a way that you couldn't mm. really achieve in real life because they're human mm. beings with like spines and shit. Uh, but they they do a good job, D- dude. Already. Fucking that that opening scene in like in the beginning part where like he's carrying her because her ankles twisted through the shop, and that one fucking zombie who just like fucking bum rushes and crashes yeah. through like all that shit. I'm like, oh god, that dude took a bump. Like that's a fucking real bump. Oh god. Yeah. This is that's scary. As soon as yeah. they introduce the old lady, I'm like, don't fucking do this to me. I know. Don't make don't give me a fucking creepy old lady. I hate creepy old lady. She had the tentacles. That's that's different uh-huh. a little bit. Uh-huh. What was the purpose? That. There are some things that they alluded to and did that I don't know what it was for. In that first because they, they added more to the opening scene. Like the Oh bracelet. my god, Joe. What they did. They did. I listen. The first time that I played The Last of Us, I cried in that. Opening Dude, scene. how how? Okay, can I? Okay, hold. hold sorry. Continue. So, I'm ready. And then I'm and then ready. the second time that I played The Last of Us, and the third time that I played The Last of Us, I skipped it because I couldn't oh, take couldn't it. And then and then oh. and then they start the show, and they're like, "Hey, remember how?" Joel's daughter fucking dies. How about what if you got to know her a little bit more this time? And I was like, no, please, please don't make I was me like, stop, stop, stop. I don't want to see her take it to the watch shop. I don't want to. I don't want to see her. I don't, don't want to see her do any of this. I don't want to know. I don't want to oh. fucking know. And I did. And but it was like really they sad. did that. What was the dangling bracelet? What does that I don't mean? Remember. I don't recall. The dangling. She was in class there. and she kept on getting like flashed in the eye, and she looked over and like, oh yeah. Was, was just dangling about. What is that? Who is that? Is that going to be important? Fuck you. Fuck you. I'm in. I'm going to watch all this and hurt again. Yeah. That's the, the one thing that I wish about this show is that I had never heard of The Last of Us up until this point. No. <laughs> Anticipating Opposite. these things. Opposite. I'm like, oh God. I'm <laughs> this sweating. horrible thing is going to happen. Oh. I know. But that's what I mean. Oh. I would just go into it and be like, wow, what a shocking thing. Now I like I like sat down. It was like the first mm-hmm. second you see his daughter, I was like, I know what's gonna happen. You know, to her. when and did I so give you that game? Sad. It was when it came out, like 20, 2013. Okay, okay. So have you replayed that like 
the opening or, or yeah because i have a question well, i i i want to pose to you as someone i don't think i'll have you have a perspective i don't think i'm ever gonna have by choice um as a dad how did that opening scene go you know uh, how did that i mean go? i mean probably that was part of why i cried <laughs> <laughs> like literally cry. I mean, it was, it was a very bad scene, though. It's horrifying. Yeah. But like, you played it before you were a dad. No, no, you played it when you were you were dad yeah. at that point. <gasps> yeah, yeah. I was like, shit, young, but that a old? dad. <laughs> yeah, shit, but he's that old. 20, 2013, He was a little well, so I didn't have the frame of reference. I don't know. You know, mm -hmm. now he's now he's ten. He's like got opinions and stuff. I can't even imagine. Listen, this is a thing that happens. This is a real that human girl thing that happened. acted her ass off too. Can we Every talk about it? Like when she was dying, the screams and all that, and then just the, oh god, she sounded like she was in pain. Yeah, and 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 <laughs> and and then Joel Holdner. I don't know. You're asking how that affects me as a parent. I'd say in general, scenes like that sometimes do get to me, which is just mm -hmm. sort of a silly thing because you, you like, you know, you think about that, you're like, I'm not gonna be that guy, <laughs> and, and and then you fucking are. Uh, yeah. there's a, there's like, you know, but, but that scene, I don't know. All I know is it made me cry. That probably had something to do with it. Uh, mm -hmm. and I can't mm -hmm. watch it again. And then they made me get to know her. They made me get to yeah, know her. Yeah, they really did. They really and, did. But she was cooler than she already was in her brief introduction. Oh. What was interesting about the intro to me was that in the game you play as her. Um, and they did. They did sort of do. They did that. a similar thing. Where I bet was, if it was your first time watching, because she was the focus of the episode. We didn't follow Joel to work. We yeah, were just no, her. Yeah. Like, if you don't know what the show's about, you don't watch anything, and you're just watching this. All of a sudden, the character you've been following and who you think the perspective is. is that's what I'm saying. That's my one not. complaint. Is I wish that I knew nothing about it, so that I'd be like, oh, who is this girl? Is she the main? protagonist and then she fucking dies 20 minutes into it <laughs> and you're like what the fuck is going on yeah. <laughs> i wanted to talk said, specifically sorry go for oh, it no no they just set it up in a way where you couldn't really see that coming i think in the game it was more obvious what was going to happen because you, you saw gameplay before and that kind of stuff I was like okay, she's not in it yeah uh, uh -huh. Absolutely. you want to talk specifics about what specifically i want to talk about because i i love this is one of my favorite games i want to talk about the car ride in the game versus in the show, right? Okay. So in the game, you play as uh, Joel's daughter, and you're you're you can move, you can look around in the. It's the same shot for shot, by the way. Like it's the same events that happen in the drive, are in the show are the same that happen in the game. Except in the game, you of course can look around and see and like be like, oh fuck, what's going on, and freak out as Joel's daughter, right? Yeah, the function of that is like the, to to feel helpless. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was worse in the show because of how tight the camera was, how it was so focused on her face and her reaction, and how like limiting it felt. I felt more trapped in that moment because I and also I think it's because I knew it was gonna what was gonna happen. I knew what was going on in a video game perspective because I'm like, oh, this is scene for scene. I'm ready for this. Then I'm like, I can't control the camera right now. This is worse somehow. I am even more stuck, which is why I think I'm really enjoying the fact that I've watched, I played this first because I'm like, oh, this is another perspective of an event that I already know about, except I feel it even more now, even though I'm not in direct control somehow. You pulled some weird director magic, motherfucker, and it's, ooh. ooh it, is, good. It, it is more stressful since we know it, isn't it? Yeah, it's it's yeah. worse somehow. You can't. It's like it's it's watching a train about to hit somebody. <laughs> you can't stop it. Yeah, you know, the person's got his headphones in. He's jamming and dancing his feelings out because the town won't let him dance. Wait. But that train's coming for Kevin Bacon, and you can't stop it. That's not what no matter happens. how hard you yell, couldn't let loose. I, I don't think that's the plot of Footloose. No, it's not? Oh. <laughs> Kevin Bacon dies in a train crash. Should it be? Anyway. I think, I think but that is like... Mrs. Winterbottom. But like such a faithful and creative adaptation of, uh, of one of my favorite stories is fucking Drive. I was fucking all about it. Meanwhile, on the other side of the pond, in that same 
you know, channel that produced this show. We have another show. Oh that God! Is decided we're not going to speak its name. I thought about watching that has, Velma. We, you can't. Don't. I thought about watching Velma for the sake of the podcast. It's, they they shit on it. They shit on Scooby Doo in order for her to tell her own story. Which, if you want to tell your own story, fine. But like, don't. Because here's the thing: is if it was like, if it wasn't Scooby Doo, right? If it was like a parody of Scooby Doo, I think it would have been fine. Because it's making but fun it of Scooby Doo, Scooby-Doo. but it is Scooby Doo. That's Velma. That's Daphne. That's Fred. That's Shaggy's government name, Norbert. And Nor, uh, Norval. Norval, yeah. Sorry. And, and uh, yeah, they made Scooby a girl. They did. That's what I was going to say. They they made Scooby his love interest, didn't they? Yeah. Uh, what's that Listen. about? I don't, I don't know. I don't know. And then like some of the tongue in cheek jokes were just fell flat. I really did try, but like when Norville is like, they're just driving. I forget why they're driving. They're going somewhere. And he's just like, he's like, and I, and I am known for hating drugs and like just a hard look at the cam. I saw that straight clip. look at the hard cam. And I'm like, what the fuck is this? I saw that clip and I almost this, threw up. You just, you're just shitting on like, the, you're just shitting on it. I don't understand. Sorry, I dropped something. But you're shitting on it, right? And I'm like, why did you choose one of the world's most beloved po- uh, like IPs? America's most beloved IPs. Like, it's Scooby-Doo. Everybody Scooby-Doo. loves Scooby-Doo. Man, Everybody Scooby-Doo, Scooby-Doo Doo. where are you? And well, why did you decide to, like, kind of hate on it for an entire season? Don't know. I don't, don't, I don't know. get it. And I, like, I don't want to be part of that group of people who's just hate-watching. Right? Because that wasn't my intent when I put the show on. I wanted to see what what it was gonna be about. But No, I think in general you go into you go into media excursions with good intentions, Joe. I believe that. It's just I guess I'm not gonna watch it though. That's the thing. I'm I'm done after like giving it a shot. And I saw I saw somebody theorize that that girl who is female human Scooby Doo is gonna die. And then he's gonna get a dog, and he's gonna name it after her. I I I can't tell you how little I care. <laughs> like, <laughs> like he's not Shaggy. He's not Fred. She's not Daphne. She's not even Velma. She's it's just Mindy of, Kaling. It's a Mindy it's Kaling Mindy, fan it's insert. Mindy Kaling. It's a Mindy Kaling fan insert, which is what she usually does. You ever watch the sexy college girls, sex lives no. of college girls? No, I have not. That show sucks. No. It's just, Mindy Kaylee doesn't understand how people talk. Well, I think that has to do with, like, um, Ivy prep school life and how I know that nothing was she, was, she, was, she, was she an Ivy League kid? I think she was a Dartmouth kid. Okay. Well, there you go. What's uh, it called? What's her show? Sexy it's what? Ca- it's called The Sex Lives of College Girls. It's got the same thing as like the clips I've seen of Velma where like for some reason, even though Mindy Kaling is not what she's like 40, she's not that old, but she Mm. writes like she does not understand how younger people talk. And it bothers me so fucking much. Like the, the, the college kids in that show are like, yo, slide into my DMS bro. And I'm like, what the fuck? Why don't you say it like that? It's, it's so cringy and bad and they do the same thing in this there was like a clip that i saw where shaggy was like oh yeah i, I sent you a vm voicemail mm. I was like, what the fuck is that who the I, fuck yeah, says that the, the voicemail bit where he kept saying it is what was that who that wasn't that? shaggy who was that like i like i don't i don't give i'm gonna, a I'm gonna fuck roll the clip you... i'm gonna roll Listen, the clip don't in the middle roll of this. the clip here don't roll the clip right here you didn't answer my VMs, voicemails, and then my dad heard me call you the B word, so I lost my phone for 24 hours. But I had to find you because I still don't know if you listened to my VMs, voicemails, let alone responded. Did you? Yes, and I don't want to do our math homework together. Just email me your answers like always. Yes, of course. Though I left you some other VMs, voicemails. I know what VMs are! I hated that. Yeah, yeah it's bad. Uh, like, someone had to, like, from HBO was like, hey... We're Warner Brothers, baby. We got the Scooby Doo IP. What are you going to do to revitalize it? Uh, I'm going to 
make it a self insert show and then change the characters to just hate them. It's almost like Mindy Kaling went and pitched a show that was not Scooby Doo and they like turned it down and then she turned around and was like, What if this was Scooby Doo? And they were like, What? Mm. They renewed it for a second season, Joe. Sure. They well, renewed like, it for a second like, season. Like I they said canceled earlier, Infinity I... Train. They took off all them Sesame Streets. And they renewed this for a second season. So there's that. <sighs> yep. Yep. It's... Oh, fuck me. There's a difference between like a different take on a character and just reskinning something else so it fits your mold. This feels like a reskin. A bad mm-hmm. reskin. Yeah, it's a reskin. God damn it. It's lame. I, was, you know, I don't want to I don't want to I don't want to hate watch or hate fucking do anything on the show. I don't want to give it any more time of the day than we have to. Unless your bit is funny, do you think it's go for it? My, no, I no, I I was gonna transition back to The Last of Us because that okay. show is incredible. Show's I'm amazing. so happy about all the choices they made for the actors. I'm mm-hmm. so happy. It's got that HBO shine, baby. Dude, Production that... value of a cinematic feature film. The so opening, fucking good. The opening where they like intro, like like they enjoy it like a movie, right? Where it's just them talking about like, oh, I'm not afraid of diseases. I'm afraid of funguses. I'm afraid it was of good. This. And it was just like. Wow, way to way to explain how the fear's gonna work to somebody and then who, have them experience that fear. Who was that guy? Who was the interviewer in that scene? He looked so familiar and I couldn't so find familiar. him. He's been in other things. I know. Yeah. He has. I know, but what? What I, I couldn't remember. I looked up on IMDB, I couldn't find him in the cast. You couldn't oh really? No. I don't know who he is. But he looked so fucking familiar. I don't know if maybe he's on like letterboxed or some shit i I don't know what the fuck i don't know i don't know who he is but he looks so familiar that was a great opening scene uh that was not in the game no no but you know what it worked it worked really good yeah it did um i i think seriously it's been long enough since i last played that game that I don't remember every single plot point anyway, but there are things that just keep coming up and I'm like, I fucking know what happens there and it's going to make me sad. Yeah. Yeah. But I'm in it. I'm in it for the ride. It was a good week for television. I'm so excited every week to watch this show. Uh, mm-hmm. I, I'd say that's about our episode, Joe. If you can't find that guy, uh, then we'll see guy. you next week. Right. What does your shirt mean? Insert meatballs? What in what, in what context? In what? Uh, in what context, like in what scenarios is that shirt relevant? Do you wear that when you go to like Olive Garden? Christmas Eve. You have meatballs on Christmas Eve? Yes. You have meatballs on Christmas Eve? Mm-hmm. I just, I don't have meatballs on Christmas many Eve. Many years, for many years now. Meat, is that it? You just have like a plate of meatballs? Well, there's other stuff, but meatballs are the get-go for Christmas Eve. What about Christmas Day? Usually a ham. Okay, yeah, I mean, yeah. I've been doing ham the last, <laughs> the last several years. It's been nice. I don't really do any food yeah, for this Christmas. Is Christmas this is a Christmas shirt. You, you, Insert you, you, meatballs. You know? Insert did meatballs. Your, did your shirt. Did your family get that for you? Not bud. Okay. And he eats the meatballs. I mean, I eat the meatballs. Would you wear it to an Italian restaurant? Because I would. Do you did you really look at me after knowing me for so long and ask me if I would wear this shirt to a fucking Italian restaurant? I know you would. I know you would. You know I, I know would. you would. <laughs> what the fuck is this? I have a great hoodie that has Bong Joon Ho, the director, on it, and it says, "I will drink till next morning," and he's making his Oscars kiss on it. <laughs> and I wore that on New Year's Eve. Hey, there you go. That's a good one. That was pretty good. Anyway, good. this is the episode's been over. Hey guys. Get out of here. Thank you. We'll see you next week. Your time with us. With us.
Goodbye, I got in there. I got in there at the end. Did you see that? Goodbye. Watch The Last of Us. Watch it. It's and, good. Uh, Don't yeah. probably watch Melba. Watch it. Don't. You, 